What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're we'll gonna be checking out this bilge pump from Seaflow. Now this works at 500 gallons per hour, and what this does is it gets that excess water out of your boat. You probably already have one, you're gonna replace it, but if you don't know what it does, let me just show you right now. We're gonna turn it on, put it in the water, and that's gonna help you out if you leave your boat out at the marina, uncovered, it rains, gets full of water, you have, you know, weighs down the boat a little bit, or you just cast your boat out and you forgot to put the plug back in. It starts getting water, filling it up. These bilge pumps can help keep up with that and get that water out, that way you don't sink your boat. This bilge pump works with a hose with an interior dimension of three quarter inches. So that's gonna just fit on there, nice and easy. It does not include the hose that you work with though. So if you're replacing one, you can just use the existing hose on your boat already and probably the clamp that's on the end. If you're not replacing one, you're adding one, you're gonna to wanna to get your own hose and hose clamps. Now there's a couple different kinds of bilge pumps. This one is what I call a switch based one. When you wire it up to your switch, you'll have to throw that switch to activate it. It won't automatically come on on its own. You can get another kind that's an auto bilge pump and it's got the switch built in this float switch here, as the water rises, it lifts up this, and that's what activates the fan to bring water in and pump it out. If you wanted to make it an automatic one, you could get a float switch as well, and you'd wire that in, and it would be the same thing that's built into the other one already, but it would just be an external pedal that lifts when the water rises. But really what it comes down to is the gallons per hour. This one says 500, that's great. That doesn't really mean anything to me because I can't see it. So we're gonna put together a little test and compare how fast they get. Here's the plan. We're gonna pour 10 gallons into this container. And we're gonna do that with every bilge pump to make sure we have the same amount of water and then we can time it and see how quick it takes to pump it out. First up is the 500 gallons per hour. This is gonna be the slowest one we have, but the smallest one. So if you have a smaller boat, you don't maybe have the room to put the bigger 2,000 gallon per hour one in there, this one's gonna work for you just fine. Next up is the 750 gallons per hour. This one's gonna be a little faster, but the unique thing on this one is this is an automatic bilge pump. So once it hits the water, it's gonna activate, and once it gets all the way down, it's gonna shut itself off. Stop. Now we're gonna test out the 1,100 GPH bilge pump. This one's a non-automatic, so it's switch-based, but you're gonna see quite a big difference from the last one. Done. Now this one's gonna be the same 1,100 GPH, but this one's gonna be automatic. So again, you'll see it activate once it hits the water and then shut off once it gets to the bottom. Done. Now we're gonna test out the 2000 GPH bilge pump. As I drop this one in there, it activates right away because it's automatic and you're gonna see it's gonna take down the water pretty quick. Done. So that's pretty cool to see them right in a row and they actually do make a big difference. They don't just have the numbers on there for no reason. 
Our lowest one, our 500, was 50 seconds, and the highest one at 2,000 was 22 seconds. So that's a big difference, and we saw that change with each one we used. One thing I will note, though, is the sound sure didn't change too much. They sounded about the same, especially when it was submerged in water. Of course, it gets noisier when there's no water. You can hear it right before it shuts off. But most of these are going to be down, tucked away somewhere in your boat, so they're not going to be like right in front of the steering wheel in your face. You're barely going to hear it when it's going in your boat, pumping that water out. One of the biggest differences for me is the switch-based ones versus the ones that have that auto switch. You can see again, as this water raises up, it'll lift this up and engage it. I think that's just a better way to go about it. I don't have to worry about flipping the switch or what if I forgot to do it, then the back of my boat floods. Once this starts going up, it's gonna pump that water out. That way it never builds up on you. Whichever one you go with, it's gonna get the job done. We saw that they just go a little bit faster. It's way better than using a manual pump or a bucket. I'd much rather have this do the work for me. I think that does it for our look at these bilge pumps. Hope that helped.